Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video dealing with money women. Now, for those who've been following what I've been talking about the past couple of videos, I'm saying this is dealing with different women on the uh, house of the woman. Now, I'm calling them money women. Those who are more familiar with the house of the woman know those are the treasure chests. Those are the women who really, quite frankly, just gather money. Now, when I'm saying money women, I ain't talking about gold diggers or women like that. That's, that's some acculturated prostitution. I'm talking about those women who will go out and hustle. I'm talking about business women. If you look at government statistics, you got more women starting businesses than ever. More women. You got a lot of these businesses out here, women owned. And I don't mean like just some uh, little, uh, you know, some little solo solopreneur type of thing. Now, that's cool, though. But I'm saying you got some women, they, they forming businesses where they employing people, they doing stuff. And, but they have a certain mentality. They have that hustle. Now, if you're going to deal with them as a man. Now, let me let me uh, let me give the exception first. Sometimes you do get some women get that money and they will go for that alpha showpiece or that gigolo or something like that. They will. That's the exception, though. That's the exception. Most of these women want a regular relationship with the right type of guy. Now, understand something. If they are a money woman and they focus on making that money, the type of guy isn't necessarily an alpha showpiece. Yeah, they want him to be decent, of course. You know, they don't want to like hurt looking at him and everything. But it's more about, is he a money man too? Now the corresponding um, archetype in the house of the man is the hunter. The hunter is that corporate guy. The hunter is that guy entrepreneurial. He's a straight up hustler. So if you're gonna deal with a money woman, you gotta have that hustle in you. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. Like I say, you get some exceptions, but those exceptions are rare. Those exceptions are rare. Those are usually like uh, ASP types, alpha showpiece types, shout out cousin T talk. Like the dudes gotta look good. And even then, it, that'll be purely for sex. That'll be purely for sex. She might not go out in public with them, but you talking about in a relationship, somebody to build with her. Or she could be the type, she's the type gonna work with the man. See, one of the things that's uh, not talked about out here, and especially for a lot of these women looking for a high value man or that six figure man. And I told these women, I told plenty of women, they can tell you on my uh, woman's channel. I say, look, work to build with that man. Now, a money woman, she'll do just that. That woman like that, she will build with the man. Like hypothetically, like even regardless of her education, like say hypothetically, he's a. Uh, you know, there might be a class difference as far as what they're doing for a living. She's an accountant, and but he's a bus driver. But if she's a true money woman, she's out there to make that money. Yeah, in general, she's looking for somebody in that class or something. But in general, say she meet the guy they talk, and if, if she find out that bus driver is entrepreneurial, and he has like a good business plan to build a bus company. Now, a true money woman, it's a great chance, I mean, a great chance she'll work with him. If they together, they in that relationship because she ain't looking at him like he's just a bus driver. She's looking at him like a CEO. And he could be the CEO, she would be the type, be cool with being a CFO. They'll work together. See, one thing about a money woman, she'll help you in that hustle. She will help you in that hustle, you know? They'll do their part. And, or if they not helping anybody, they got their own hustle. They got their own hustle. And let me be clear, when I say hustle, I don't mean criminal activities, though you got some women doing that too. I'm saying she going out there getting that money. And see, that's gonna be the main thing because think about it. If a woman's out here making money, she got drive, she got ambition. Uh, she's actually uh, probably not as rational thinking as the money one, uh, as the smart woman, you know, that uh, more intellectual type of woman. Not as, but damn near close. If the smart woman is here, then that money woman is going to be about there. <laughs> so she still, she ain't looking at like, she ain't looking at it like all oh, some lovey-dovey stuff. She more business. She's like, okay, me, we, like, let's talk this business. Like, I remember I was dealing uh, with this uh, woman. We, we got along great. In fact, we had talked uh, maybe a few months ago. 
a few months ago. She's still doing well and everything. But most of our conversations weren't about like some reality show. Let me be clear. We weren't talking about some reality show or like some of this silly stuff out here. It was business, business, business. We just be, so it was, we be getting hot just talking business. Cause anybody who know me, yeah, y'all know me for talking about relationships and stuff. But anybody who's listened to my money channel will know, oh, Rom's, Rom's a capitalist. Even business, I don't care. Anybody who knows me well, they know if I had my druthers, I'd just be talking business. In fact, I'm still thinking about ways to upgrade that channel even more to get more people in. Rom about making that money, you know? Even what I do on this channel, like, I, 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 let me just say this real quick. I have somebody came back to me and said, yeah, Ron, they talking about you doing car videos and stuff. I make money from them. When I start making money, I'll stop doing them. <laughs> but anyway, it's that hustle mentality. See, when you around women like that, oh, yeah, they, they can talk, they can have a fun with you, but they about it. And they, they, are certain, they got a certain level of seriousness to them. And, you know, and they, they don't know, they ain't looking for that guy who already got the money. Let's be clear on it. A true, a true one. And now I know there's some women, they'll say, I got this business. I don't think the guy got to do this. No, they looking more at not so much his money or that he made it. Is he building? Is he building? They looking more at his drive. They looking more of his personality thing. Like if you're dealing with that, if you run into that type of woman, and she might even think, she might look at you, yeah, he fine, he doing all this. They gonna wanna know what you do. If you're talking about you on some, you know, moderate job or uh, even a minimum wage job, they might still deal with you if, you know, they'll talk with you. They'll be like, oh, okay, so where do you see yourself? And it's weird, I've dealt with enough of them. They, they, they the ones that be like, what are, you, what are you doing? The real money women? I don't care what they think you look like. I don't care how much their vagina tingling. They're going to be like, oh, okay, what you doing? And if you tell them, oh, just some ordinary stuff, they probably like be polite the rest of the day, but you ain't going to get no 90 unless you just that fine. And even then, it'd be like one of those quickies, <laughs> one of those like one night stand real quick, and then she act like she don't know you after that. But when they on that money thing, they on that hustle thing, oh, they want to know what you're doing. And I'm saying this from personal experience, because understand something. One thing I've done, and I've been doing for well over 20 years, is vending. And when you're vending, you're dealing with a money woman right there. You know, I'm at different events and stuff. You're talking with them. They're talking business as much as anything else. So they want a guy who's talking. To them. If that guy's like, you know, he ain't getting into, uh, he don't got no plan for the future. He just went, oh, I'm just going, you know, work here. Like I said. If he's extremely fine, they might deal with, him, deal with him for a night, but they ain't gonna think about him long term. And in fact, even if the guy, if the guy is average looking, see, this is another case where you will get an average looking guy with a woman. She could be very attractive. You're like, why are they together? Find out what she do for a living. In fact, with any of these, find out what she do. If she's like, she got some business stuff and she with him, find out what his business is. Cause you get a lot of women like that. Cause see, they look for drive and ambition. And even if you don't have a business, okay, he was working corporate or something. She's gonna be, she'll probably be like, oh, wow. Oh, you doing that? Um, you expect to run that company one day? And <laughs> they'll hit it like that. If you're like, oh no, I'm good where I am. She'll be like, oh, okay. At the end of the night, oh, hey, it was good meeting you. <laughs> because their mindset is making money. So they wanna be around a man making money, but not who already got money. See, that's the key. If he got money, fine, but that's not the primary thing. That's like down the road. She's looking at his traits because she's thinking to herself, okay, who can I work with to increase my bottom line? And then I can help him increase his bottom line. Like I said, the money woman, they either got their hustle or they willing to work with a man building his stuff. Because I've dealt, like I said, I've dealt with some women like that. I've dealt with some women like that and <laughs> very helpful. No matter what they got, they, they, do, they, they the type. As long as that man it got some drive and ambition and stuff, they don't mind sitting back and being secondary. They will help him. That's, see, that's the beauty of them. They either got their own hustle, they out making money, or they are perfect with helping a man building his stuff because they right there alone. Because if you look at a lot of businesses, and this is regardless of race, there's a lot of businesses, a husband and wife team building. 
And they they some of the most beautiful businesses. Because I've seen it, because they working together. Everybody play their part. Like, I'd never forget this one time I was vending. It was at, uh, it was at uh, Banneker Park across from Howard University. And I remember there was a man and a woman there. They were setting up. Now, he had his little stuff he was setting up. She had her stuff. She was totally submissive to him. In fact, there was a point there were some young men cursing around her, and he checked them. He checked them. This one was old school dice. He's like, no, you don't talk like that around my wife. And they were like, oh, we sorry, sir, because he was one of those, like, old man strong type of dudes, you know? <laughs> like, that dude was like, <laughs> he was like, you don't do that. But she was in total submission to him, but she had her business stuff, and he had his, and, but they were just in the same spot. They were doing, everybody was in their role. But that's a money woman. See, a money woman will help a hustler. A money woman will help a hustler. She'll have her own shit, and she want to deal with a man on his shit, because she don't want to feel like, like a long-term thing. She don't want to feel like she's the, got the drive ambition and dude just sitting back chilling playing Xbox or PS5. Nah, nah, she wants that hustle. Like I said, she'll sacrifice, she'll sacrifice like some of the, that superficial ass shit. Well, it ain't superficial. I said I wasn't gonna say that anymore. But she'll sacrifice like, you know, okay, he don't look like a model, okay, but he got that plan, he got that drive. And let's be real about something, let's be real. Let's, let's keep it a buck. If you take an honest look at the men the overwhelming majority of men who are really making the money, really masters of the universe, they ain't gonna pass for a fashion model. I mean, they'll be in decent shape because, you know, they know they need to work out. But average looking, average looking. And I keep emphasizing that too, because a lot of guys still caught up in just that physical part. But when you're talking to, if you're dealing with a money woman, you know, she ain't, she, she's not the wifey type. She can be a wife, but she ain't that strict wifey type who just wanna sit home and cook and all of that. Oh no, she wanna, if you a vendor or something like that, you out there vending, she getting up with you at three in the morning going to some place to vend. In fact, any of my vendors, any of my uh, male followers or even female followers who are vendors, who are vendors, y'all know about setting up tables in different places and stuff, shout yourselves out, shout yourselves out. Cause that's, like I said, if I had my druthers, I'd just be on my money channel. Maybe my, yeah, my money channel, my deep thought channel, but y'all still need relationship stuff. So, but I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, if you're dealing with that money woman, yo, you better be on that hustle. You better be on that hustle or you better be on that drive to be CEO of whatever company you want. But if you just some dude just want to sit around and everything, that's have some type of hustle, shh. Oh, she ain't gonna have a long-term interest in you. Like I said, the only exception is if you like some super fine alpha showpiece or something, and even then, is she just maybe wants you one night, but then she might, she, even then, she might be like, oh, okay, it was fine, leave some money on the table. Like in a classic movie, Boomerang, when Robin Givens, now she was a money woman. She left the money on, she got sex with Eddie Murphy, left the money on the table, it walked. So, anyway. Yeah, so that's dealing with a money woman, all right? So anyway, I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.